when you meet her, it'll feel as though both your worlds have collided, like two atoms fusing and bursting in light. There's a cosmic force that brings you two together, a synchronicity because you're both vibrating at your own frequency that's authentic, loving, and bright. It almost feels like a non-event because you feel at home when you meet her, when you're around her. There's no drama, no adrenaline hit. It's a soul song that you two been singing individually, and now suddenly you're both singing it together. I remember watching this old movie back in the day where this guy said to this woman as he was looking at her, he said, dang girl, you got me under a love spell. He said that because the woman he spent time with, that woman was real. What he felt with her was real. You see, prior to, me to him meeting her, you know, every other woman he would run into was with him for all the wrong reasons. He was a giver. He made sure that the woman he was with was well taken care of. And that's good for the right woman, but the wrong one will take advantage of that. You know, some of the women he was running into would drain him financially, would make him sick on purpose. And it never really worked out. The woman gave him something he never felt before. She gave him something real, not asking for anything in return. She just loved him. Her love was healing to his soul. It's very hard to find a woman like this. But brothers, if you're lucky enough to run into someone like that, take it as a blessing and hold on to her tight. I've seen brothers get a rare woman like that and mess it up. Then what's sent in after her is a perfectly polished, dark Jezebel. One that looks the part but carries the worst kind of soul. I've seen this so many times. They come in carrying all kinds of dark negative attachments and you're forced to be attached to it. Notice every time you try and break free, you can't. You're pulled back to the toxicity. Your mind is screaming, this is making me sick. This connection is killing me. I want out, but it's like something is keeping you binded to them. I like to call that a negative love spell that a woman can place on a man in desperate situations if that person has hidden agendas or they're benefiting from you energetically, financially, they're not going to let that go easy so they'll resort to pulling from a darker place to keep you bound to them. I listen to so many stories online where men open up about being binded to a, a very dark, wicked woman. You know, women who place in their mind love spells on them. One man said, you know, he had a woman taking her body, bodily fluids and putting it in his food and drink. Some were taking clothing items, cursing them. Others were doing even darker things through sex. And men who are unaware or asleep, this will have a strong effect on their mind. The men will feel as though they were in some sort of mental hell. No one wants to feel like they no longer have control over their own mind. And that's exactly what a lot of these brothers said they felt. It felt like they were in a mental prison. They were being controlled by something dark. And it took for them to break free, go no contact, fasting and praying to break that energy off, discard of any gifts, anything like a, like a complete cleanse of not only their self, but their environment. You know, there's evil love and then there's that good love, that good love spell, like something straight from the divine. It comes with healing. You can't stop thinking about that other person longing, wanting to be with them. They're like medicine to your soul. Now, this video is not for anyone who enjoys toxic relationships. They enjoy the fights, the cops being called. This message is not for you. This is, I'm simply making this to open the eyes of people who find themselves questioning, you know, is this from God? You know, why am I always jumping back in the fire? You know, after God has shown me numerous times that, you know, he has something better. 
it's like I keep being pulled back into the devil's grip. So I get it. Some people like those toxic, crazy, wild relationships. You know, hey, however you want to use your free will. But, you know, a lot of people don't know the dark practices, the dark things that a lot of people do behind the scenes. And that's what I wanted to make this video for. Whether you're just meeting somebody or you guys have been together for a few months, always pray and wait on God to reveal what needs to be revealed to you. There are so many stories out there where I've heard men say they got confirmation way before even saying hello. You know, it was like a voice was telling them, hey, that's your wife. And these people are still together to this day. So always wait on God, wait for a sign. But Matthew 19, 6, what God brings together, let no man separate. We might not understand God's plan, but remember his ways are higher than ours. We might not understand exactly what he's doing, but I promise you when it's from God, there will be no confusion. Thank you for listening.